Oh, you're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Osteron will spend weeks making a contraption to do a job that... I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. This is outrageous. We're loyal citizens. How long do we have to wait? What am I supposed to do? Just sit here and let everything spoil? I thought Meridian was open to all Karja. What's what going on here? Roland's in there, somewhere. And so's Erend, that other outlander I talked to the night before the proving. Erend said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the Vanguard. It's always the merchants who suffer. The city's locked down and down to the murder. Halt! Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the Vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy! Hey, hey, you're alive! I thought you were dead! Make way! Make way! All the way to Meridian, just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So, you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drink's on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was... attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. And some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Owen is working with them. But... <laughs> I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents? Places he returns to? A house. Here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess. As long as I'm there to witness the search. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. I, uh... I lost someone, too. At the Proving. The man who raised me. His name was Rost. That's terrible. Why is it every time something terrible happens, everyone else tells you the worst thing that ever happened to them, as though that makes it easier? Yeah, why is that? Anyway, there was something you wanted to tell me? I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Come on. Disorderly conduct last night. We don't want to know what they were doing. So many people here, all talking at once. 
How does anyone think? I don't. I just drink. That girl. Is she a new? Apparently they're letting anyone into the city these days. Does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Aaron, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered, and her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself. Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass. What did he mean about Ursa's murder? Not now. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. That other than the door. All of this for one man. It pays to have connections in the Sun King's court. The corner of this rug is frayed, and the floor near it is worn. Let's see what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Call it a day, girl. You're wasting time. It looks like a picture of Olin's family. <laughs> looks big and heavy. Could do a lot of damage if it fell down. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? show places he visited. Looks like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. to obey or they'd kill his family. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. 
He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus, it's the same? The device is the same, but somehow Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin. Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait. If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. You're looking for artifacts. Yes, but I'm no profiteer. Sun King Avad has named me an envoy to the Banu. I work on their behalf, looking for sacred relics to return to their homeland, Ben Ur. I'm especially interested in wooden figures that are sometimes found near Banuk rock paintings. If you have any, I have valuables to trade for them. You said the king named you an envoy to the Banuk? Yes, I've been to Ben Ur many times, and the Wirek chiefs trust me. I help them maintain diplomatic ties with Avad. Some say they're a mysterious people, but their ways make a lot of sense to me. All you have to do is be the best. Doesn't matter if you're born high or low, man or woman. They respect skill, not some fool notion of heritage. I see the appeal. I wish more Karja did. Anything they don't understand, they call backward or savage. Tell me more about these Banuk figures. Simple wood sculptures made by Arnak, a legendary hunter who was exiled from Ban Ur for killing his chief. He left the figures near painted stones in places that reminded him of his homeland. Later, his tribe declared him innocent. Now they see him as a kind of wandering hero and want those figures back. I do what I can to help him get them, including trade for them, if you have any. You ready? Let's trade then. Come on back if you find any Banuk goods.
sun's coming up. Why would you hate me? Leave the rest. Their necessities. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price. Don't forget to stock up before you're All right. The what did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good. But a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels? emblazoned with symbols of the old ones they consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends if you bring me these vessels in sets of four i will gladly trade what i have for them so you're interested in the old ones more than interested i study every ancient artifact i can get my hands on but years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk I can't even bear the sun, if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel, majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been... Breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. Yes, yes. Trade quickly. I have work to do. I will leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. Got all the best goods here. I'm. I'd like to discuss a trade with you, Outlander. Come take a look. I'll give you a good price.
Thank you, man. The second sight, I need your help. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape, and listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In brief, you hold yours close, like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Uh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander, then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices, not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaron who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb, a call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Glint hawks perch there, drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. 
It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away, and how he tried. In the end. He said, when we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least, they hang heavy. Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. share a drink with Aaron. There is a man who knows how to enjoy it. You need to win three half-sons at our hunting grounds to gain admittance to the lodge. You mean these? Very well, then. Congratulations, and welcome. Our members reap rewards and adventure and live on in legend. Am I a member now? No, you're only a fledgling. Junior members are called thrushes. To join and become a thrush, you need a senior member called a hawk to sponsor you. So I need to find a hawk? Yes, but a hawk can only sponsor one hunter at a time, and I'm afraid most of them already have one. I've overcome worse odds. Where do I start? Upstairs, present yourself to the sun hawk Assis, our leader, who should introduce you to a hawk. I hope it's worth it. What do you mean? You'll see. By the sun! King of Odd's edict really is taking effect. Never thought I'd see a Nora here and a woman at that. So, you have marks for me? What do you mean? From the hunting grounds. Oh, right. You're new here. What edict? 
King Avad insisted that the Hunter's Lodge had to welcome everyone. Man, woman, outlander, regardless of tribe. Ursa, captain of the Vanguard, came in and delivered that news personally. You should have been there. It was glorious. But I figured they would sweep it under the rug and say no woman or outlander qualified. Yet here you are. Are you a member? Me? No. Karja don't exactly encourage their daughters to run around hunting machines. But all the changes in Meridian have been good to me. I don't think the Asaram know how to sell to us Karja. The trader I worked for last couldn't sell flowers to a bee. He was too plain hammered, as they like to say. This is a much better job. I figure I'll be able to open my own shop soon enough. What do you want with my marks? You hunters and your badges. I'm not gonna take them. I'm going to give you a weapon that sets you apart. Yeah, I thought that'd get your attention. If you earn marks in all three trials at each of the five hunting grounds, come to me. I can give you up to three weapons, one for 15 half-suns, one for 15 full suns, and one you'll love for all blazing suns. What do I do with these marks? If you get the same mark from all the hunting ground trials, I can give you a Hunter's Lodge weapon. Show me what marks you've earned, and we'll see if you qualify for one of these special weapons I have for you. I believe I have enough here. What next? You brought in all the sun marks at once. You're going to make a lot of hunters jealous. Not that it takes much. I'm pleased to present to you a Lodge Blast Sling, a Lodge Robe Caster, and the Lodge War Bow. Congratulations! You're a master hunter of the Lodge. All I can give you now is encouragement. Excuse us. Ah, the machine rider graces us with her presence. You're Anora, are you not? A fighter from the savage lands. The sacred land, but yes. I fought for everything I got. Huh. Tell me, do the Nora often wander into other people's homes and do whatever they like? Of course not. But that is what you're doing right now. Stinking up our lodge, pestering your betters. You're hardly my better. Legan said I had to meet you to become a member. That would be true if there were any chance of you becoming a member. But you're a savage. And no savage will rise in the ranks of the Hunter's Lodge while I am the Sun Hawk. Now be gone. No. I was led to believe there are rules here. If they count for nothing, then even your position is meaningless. So quit blustering and tell me. Is there a hawk who is free to sponsor me? Very well. Talana is free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fitting? Trash sponsoring trash. Now get out of my sight. Talana? 
SC said you were a hawk without a fledgling to sponsor. Or are you trying to drive me off too? It's okay, I've dealt with worse. Mm. I'll bet you have. But you're wrong. It's not okay. Especially not today. Is there any actual hunting in this lodge? So far, it's been all talk. <laughs> yes, of course. You fight a machine, then bring its trophy to assist the Sunhawk, then no one can deny you brought it down. What happened today? One of our own just died fighting Red Maw. You'll never face a more dangerous Thunderjaw. Cuts through trees, rocks, people. I'm sorry to hear that. It's part of the hunt. Assis, what's his story? He's the Sunhawk of the Lodge. The highest ranking asshole. <laughs> sorry, member. He's taken down Ravagers, Stalkers, Behemoths. So? I've taken down a lot of machines. As have I. Even brought down two Stormbirds. But he's a hawk who brought in the trophies first. And that's how it works. Whichever hawk defeats the greatest machine first becomes a Sun Hawk. How does one become a hawk? When a hawk dies, his thrush is promoted in his place, no matter how anyone feels about it. Who is this Legan, the man at the door? Legan? He's a hawk. He had an impressive run in his day, but he doesn't fight anymore. He supports the Lodge in other ways. Unlike the other hawks, who hoard all of us kills and drink the bar dry. I'm ready to hunt, so tell me. What do I have to do? You want them to regret looking down on you? Then speak to them in their language. Kill three sawtooths, two ravagers, and a stalker. Deliver their trophies directly to Assis. That should shut them all up. So if I do that, he'll sponsor me. I'll consider it. Just to make Assis boil. Red light means trouble.
the upper hand.
sturdy Oseram hands. I know how to put them to use. Hello. Take a look at these wares. Oh, well. Buy what you need, or leave the rest. What did you want to talk about? You were an outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows, but some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah. Let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora. Let's have a chat. No. Discussion. Told you. I'm here to present trophies to the Sunhawk of the Lodge. Three Sawtooths, two Ravagers, and a Stalker for good measure. I suppose Talana helped you with this. I brought these down myself. Will you accept them? Fine, yes. I accept them. But tell Talana she should stop playing with Sludge if she wants to get Redmaw. Man caught me sipping a brew of work. Held so loud, I'm still deaf. When I gave them my trophies, Assi said you should be spending more time finding Red Maw than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Maw right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? And what might that be? Meet me outside. You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, Elsadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glint Hawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Redmaw? Are you in or not? All right. 
I'll meet you there as soon as I can. About time you showed up. More Glen Hawks incoming. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. Seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand.
there are snap mock carcasses everywhere. No wonder the Grunt Hawks were drawn here. Whoever did this must have left tracks from amateurs and leave easy tracks to follow. Those blinds up there concentrate fire on a target. Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat, and a wasteful one, too. Must be the snap mall hunters. I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a glint hawk problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough snap mall hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that. But Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? No one wins if we fight. Surely we can reach a compromise somewhere short of death? We've been harvesting snap maw hearts for days. I only need one more, and then I can settle my debt and save our home. If I get the last heart, do you promise to stay away? It's a good deal. Ibasha took a hard hit with that last one. Okay, fine. We need the shards. I'll do this for you once, and once only. Stay here till I get back. Now to bring this back to those hunters. There, the heart you need. Now what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. 
Keep it that way. Aloy. Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. You were watching the whole time? Of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait, are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating Assis? <sighs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Like an opportunity to share a drink with him. Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements, and Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. This. This is a good day. What's Red Maw? Few have seen it. A Thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. 
But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat Assis. My sponsor nearly had it, but... He didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the Lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. I know why I hate Assis. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the Lodge. My father and brother were both Hawks. Assis let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um... What sacrifice? They died in the massacre. They should be honored as Hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because it needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. What happened in the massacre? King Jaron's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more Hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the Sunring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there.
smoke and sweat. That's how you know you've done a good day's work. either. Maybe Lycan knows where they are. There's blood on the throne. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? Assis left without his thrush. Delana did as well. Though, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm. You might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. How much did a cease pay you? That sounds like her. Thank you. I should have seen this coming. Of course he would hire men to keep me from Redmaw. They died for his pride. Where is Assis now? He's gone after Redmaw. This way. Hurry! Why is Assis going after Redmaw alone? Vanity. 
He doesn't want to share credit for the kill with his brush. My sponsor did the same. Went after Redmaw alone out of pride. Even though he knew he needed to unseat Assis. Redmaw went from I can follow their tracks. This way. Redmaw destroyed these trees. I fear we're too late. The Tarkus, I arrived in time to see him die from his wounds. There he is. Redmaw. for us. And now, you're the Sunhawk. About that. <sighs> Talana, he's still alive. Out of the way, Nora. Filth. You're done. The Lodge is finally free of your influence. I kept it alive. In dark times. No. You buried it. Along with my father's memory. I should have... I should have... I should have let you fight Redmore first. To soften him up. Damn. Here lies the Sunhawk of the Hunter's Lodge. It's almost a shame. After all that, you're gonna weep for him. Oh, no. I just wish I could have seen his face when I succeeded him. <laughs> okay, then. Meet me back at the Hunter's Lodge, if you have the time. I have a feeling the new Sunhawk wants to welcome you.
things. Uh, looking in the thick. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother, and Sunhawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people, to follow. Look, a memorial to my father and brother, and all the men who died in the Sunring. You made this possible, Aloy. Thank you. So, what's it like to be Sunhawk? It feels like sunrise after a long night. <laughs> I'm in your debt. You'll always have a special home here, if you want it. What happens now, in the Lodge? As Sunhawk, I've made sure we invite prospective members based on ability and drive, regardless of Karja blood. This lodge will be a stale bastion of the old regime no longer. What was that prayer you were saying when I first came in? I didn't hear all of it. Oh, great sun. Make treaty with the moon to give our fallen quiet rest. Burnish them with the armor of your brazen heat. Give them shafts of sunlight for spears. Illuminate the path to the skies for each one of them. Hawk Gravid Khan Morza. Hawk Sarav Khan Pir. Hawk Yusalin Khan Jagir. Hawk Kulasiv Khan Savali. Hawk Bradavin Khan Padish, cherished brother. And Sun Hawk Talavad Khan Padish, beloved father. Let their memory and sacrifice be a beacon for all hunters, all people to follow. Well, congratulations, Talana. I should get going. Thank you, Aloy. Despite the Nora. <laughs> May you always take your prey. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode, and as usual, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more video updates, and share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all the, all the social medias, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below in the description box. And as usual, thank you for watching everybody, and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.